Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I am showing you fundus of this young male myopic patient who undergone clear lens extraction under topical anesthesia a few weeks back by me for his very thick myopic glasses. Now you have seen his clear lens extraction and today I am showing these numerous peripheral retinal lesions these black and white condensations of the peripheral retina, these small islands of lattice with an arborizing network of white lines using smartphone, flashlight and 20 diopter lens. Yes, you have got me right. Today video is about peripheral retinal degeneration. The most important and the most common one, the lattice degeneration. Now lattice is present about in about 8% of general population. It develops early with peak incidence in second and third decade and is more common in moderate myopes. Risk of retinal detachment in patients with lattice is about 1%. But in 40% of eyes with retinal detachment, you may find lattice degeneration in the peripheral fundus. You can clearly see here uh, if you look superiorly, there is a pigmented patch of lattice in this video very clearly shown I have worked a lot here that patch is that horizontal patch is lattice now while lattice forms usually retina becomes thinner as you go from center towards the periphery and in myopes it is more atrophic and thin so sometimes Discontinuity of internal limiting membrane in atrophic neurosensory retina occurs. Vitreous over the lattice patch is synchitic, but vitreous attachments around the margins of the lattice patch are exaggerated. There are also small atrophic holes sometimes seen in the islands of lattice. Now, most commonly, it is bilateral, like in this patient, I am showing lattice in both eyes, superotemporal. Yes, in this patient, more patches are superotemporal, but also there are patches inferiorly as well in my patient. So spindle-shaped areas of retinal thinning, commonly between equator and vitreous base, you may found sclerosed vessels forming an arborizing network of white lines is characteristic. You can see pigmentary changes due to hyperplasia of retinal pigment epithelium. Now why this latest degeneration is important to diagnose and what is its significance? Well, its relation to causing retinal detachment, especially in myopic eyes. Complications usually don't occur in most of the patients with lattice, but retinal tears may develop after posterior vitreous detachment. 2% atrophic holes may also lead to retinal detachment rarely. Now risk is higher in young patient and especially if they have undergone or they undergo cataract surgery. If they are left aphakic or if the cataract surgery becomes complicated like PCR occurs. So while performing cataract surgery, extreme care must be taken not to induce PCR because it raises retinal detachment chances and also during phaco emulsification you should take care that anterior chamber should be maintained it should not fluctuate because anterior chamber fluctuations during cataract surgery also causes dynamic tractions on the liquefied vitreous and can induce retinal tears especially in the eyes with latest patches so as this patient is pseudo and high myope and we found superior and inferior numerous lattice patches and also he lives in a far flung area and is not able to come for the close follow-ups i have applied 360 degree peripheral lateral uh, photocoagulation laser barrage posterior to the lattice patches here you can see I, uh, the laser marks inferior to the patch now if there are i have uh, performed 360 laser but uh, nowadays uh, if there are few lattice patches uh, it is more preferable to just encircle those patches and don't perform 360 degree laser uh, retinal detachment chances increase invariably when such patients undergo yak capsulotomy later in life for posterior capsular opacification 
So in my opinion, it's better to perform prophylactic 360 degree peripheral laser. Otherwise, educate the patient about retinal detachment or retinal tears signs like sudden onset of flashes, floaters and curtain-like decreased vision. If occurs, then immediately report to the eye doc because in asymptomatic lattice degeneration patches observation and follow-up is the treatment of choice as i have mentioned earlier that most of the patients will not develop tears here you can clearly see after performing 360 degree laser you can see that i have applied laser just below or posterior to the lattice patches so in this way i have tried to save the retina from future retinal detachments thank you very much